One day, my brother David came to visit my mother. David and myself sat down on the veranda and asked her if she thought it was a good idea for us to go into the food business. He said, I have a vision that Cayman is ready for a supermarket. The vision of Foster's was that it would be something that the community needed. I think a lot of people didn't really see his vision. She said, I don't think anybody is going to come out 7 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock at night to do grocery shopping. She said, if that is what you want to do, son, I will pray fervently for its success. And I know that my mother's prayers have been answered. My dad was a great guy. He built his business on customer service and he absolutely delivered on that. I remember he had this little black book that he kept in his pocket. Anything a customer wanted, the black book would come out and he'd write that down and sure enough, if it went in there, it was going to get done. Back in the day, everything came in frozen. Dad and Uncle Steve wanted to change that. When they made the decision to try and bring in fresh milk, it was like, wow, who knew the milk was white? <laughs> that was one of his driving forces to start the supermarket business, was to bring fresh products and fresh milk and fresh bread to the community. He was diehard Fosters. To get where we are today, we had to do what we had to do, and he was pretty tough on us. We had to come to work no matter what the situation was. I wanted to go to a sleepover at a friend's house, and my mom gave me permission to go, and then all of a sudden, my dad shows up at my friend's house saying that you have to go to work. You have a commitment, and you're gonna work with me on Saturday night, so I had to leave and go to work with my dad. <laughs> That's how he was. <laughs> my dad opened these stores, and he worked so many hours in order for us to spend time with him. My mom would cook dinner and she would pack it all up in a little picnic basket and take my sister, brother and I and we'd come down and have dinner with my dad. My first job was security guard. <laughs> there was no locks in the doors and security didn't show up. Off I went down as a jubilant little 11 year old with my dad to play security for the night. So we put cardboard on the, on the ground and had my spare gun and we were ready for action. At Christmas he made sure that they made those full sheet cakes. And Tani and I had the responsibility of serving the cake to the customers. He'd always find a job for us. You worked everywhere, anywhere you were needed, that's where you were and you were going to work. <laughs> I've been affected everyone in Grand Cayman and it was a real shock when you woke up and you actually saw the damage that was left in the wake of Ivan. It was a sad time and a hard time for a lot of people and we lost three stores. The day after when the clouds started to drift away and people started emerging again, we had no stores for people to go to work in yet. We had over 170 employees show up to work the next morning. And that was truly, truly amazing. Our employees are fantastic. They're the lifeblood of any business and ours is no different. We depend on each other to make the store function. They've been fantastic. We started with about 25 employees. Today we employ over 500 employees in all of our locations. It just constantly grew over the years. We have always believed in giving back to the community, always. There's a lot of need in Cayman. We try to give to everybody. Our policy really is to just try and help as many people as we can. It started for my dad and we're continuing that. We're a very close-knit family and I think that comes from my father. He always wanted us together. We sort of fit really well, much like a puzzle. We're going to continue doing what he started. Well, I just hope that we can continue his legacy. And I hope that we still have really strong family and community values. And whatever they need, we'll provide. <laughs>